and a very good morning students. We're going to do a quick tab lab in Microsoft Word. So if you notice, I've opened up a Microsoft Word document. I'm using the local installed version of Microsoft Word on my computer. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and do a file save as. Now I'm going to save this to my desktop. You want to save this to wherever you want the file to be so that you have it to upload to Blackboard. Okay, per the instructions. So here we go. I'm going to call this E. Magidson Tab Lab and I'm going to save it. Now at this point, what I want to do is introduce to you multiple ways of using tabs. Now before I do that, I want to show you how someone who doesn't understand tabs is going to create spacing. Okay. And normally, how they'll do that, if you notice my cursor is here, is they'll simply hit the space bar. Okay. So if we do that and we try to line things up, And we go to the next line, okay, and we try to get it close, but not sure if you can see this, and I'll try to zoom in. These are not perfectly aligned, and so if we're creating a table of data, we're going to be able to see that it's not aligned, okay? Now, the way I know that this happened is up here is the show hide paragraph marks. And we'll talk a lot about this because this is where it's going to show me my formatting for the document. Okay. So if I tab now, if you notice every half inch, it's going to put a tab. Okay. Let me go up here, put this a little closer so you can see every half inch. If I don't have any designated tabs, it's just going to tab over to the next half inch. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all that. Start with a fresh document. But did you notice those spacebar spaces? That's how I know if you're using spacebar versus a tab. Notice there's the tab indicator. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me introduce you to tabs. Couple ways to do tabs. First of all, if we go into <coughs> paragraph, sorry about that. If we go into paragraph to the more button, you see this button down at the bottom of some of these sections of the ribbon? That means there's more feature and functionality than is available to us in the default view. So I'll come down here and I will do paragraph marks. Okay. And if you notice, there is a tabs button at the bottom. So I can manually set tabs here. Okay. For example, let me set a tab at two inches. I'm going to set a left tab at two inches and choose set. Then I'm going to set a right tab at four inches and choose set. Now, when I say OK to this, if you notice right up here, there is a left tab at two inches and a right tab at four inches. So now if I tab over and say hello, notice it starts typing left to right at two inches. If I tab again, it'll take me to my next preset tab. Okay, this is a right tab. And if you notice what happens here is that the text at four inches is typed from right to left so that it aligns here. Now where we would want to use that, let me tab over, is I might say price $29.95. Okay, for example, you know, uh, second price $105.98. If you notice, it's aligning to the right, which if I use consistent decimal places, it's going to align there. Okay. Now let me go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to do a quick table of some data. This is what you're going to need to turn in. Okay. Now, if you notice, we went to the paragraph and set the tabs there. Okay. Now, if I want to get rid of tabs, all I have to do is clear the formatting. Okay. There's another easier way to do tabs and that is with the ruler on. Now, if your ruler isn't on, we can just go into view and turn the ruler on from here, right there. Okay. So if you notice, if I turn it off, the rulers go away. I always like to leave my ruler on, but some people don't. I'm going to go back to the home tab. 
Now, if you notice up here in the right is this little tab button. And if I click through, there's a left tab. I'm going to click it one time. There is a center tab. I'm going to click it again. There's a right tab. Click it again. There's a decimal tab. Click it again. And we have a bar tab. And what a bar tab does, let me just quickly put a bar tab at one inch. Okay. And I say, hello. And then I tab over and it puts a bar at the one inch mark. So when I go down here, if you notice, the bar continues. Okay. Now I'll do undo key till I get back to a basic document. I'm going to come in here and what I want you to do. By the way, these other two marks, notice right here, okay, this is my left margin and my left hanging indent and my left indent. So if I want to start a paragraph with an indent on the first line, well, then I just come up and move, bring back, there's my first line. So let's go ahead and create a left tab. Now, if you notice, I'm on left tab. Here's the cool thing. Let me bring this back over here. With this on left tab, all I have to do is come up to the ruler and I'll put a left tab at one inch. Then I'm going to do a center tab at two and a half inches. And I'm going to do a right tab at four inches. And then I'm going to do a decimal tab so we can see what that is at five inches. Now, I don't want to start typing here. I actually want to start typing at my left tab. Okay, so this is going to be the city. I'm going to tab over. Okay, this is going to be property type. So you want to be typing this. This is going to be price. And then I'm going to tab over to lot number. So as I do this, notice I have my show hide paragraph marks on. But if you notice, everything is going to align perfectly. So our first property is going to be in bend. Property type is going to be, um, let's see, open land. Oh, let me pause. Sorry about that. That was my daughter. So open land. The price, I'm going to tab over again, and it's going to line up the price, okay? So this is going to be 100200 and zero dollars okay? Now, if I wanted to, of course, I could put the price with a dollar sign and a comma, making it better, but notice it's aligning to the right. I'm going to tab over and make up a lot number. Now, if you'll notice here, what's happening is that the decimal tab is aligning to the decimal. And we're going to see that because we're going to do two more and then we're done with this quick lab. So this property is going to be in Redmond. It's going to be a house and land. It's going to be 75. Actually, I'll do the dollar sign. 75,690. I'm going to tab over and its lot number is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six point eight. Eight, seven. So if you notice again, it's aligning with the decimal. We'll do one more. We'll go out to Madras and we're going to say ranch land. It's going to be dollar sign one million five hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. Tab over here. Its lot is fifty eight point two nine eight seven. Again, aligning. So here's the thing. At this point, if I turn off the show hide paragraph marks, we see we have alignment here at our left tab. We have a center alignment example here. Normally, if I was doing this in a table, this would probably be a left align. I would move this over, okay, so that it has less white space here and then the lot numbers aligning with the decimal so that I can have an indicator. So where we might use this decimal tab would be in a Dewey decimal system, for example. So that's what we have. Go ahead and save this and upload it for the tab lab. Have a great day.